Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo, and I'm here reviewing The Spy. Today is December 28th. Tomorrow is the last trading day of 2017, so let's take a look at the entire year. We're gapping up here this morning. Market looks higher today, and my prediction is that we close strong in the end of the year, which, which you know, is kind of unusual. So let's take a look at it. In fact, let's look at last December 1st, 2016. So there we are. So we did not have a positive day to close the year. All right. And let's just, let's just look at the last three years, just, just for show, because I, I want to say something here, and I just want to prove to myself that I'm right. Okay, now we're 2015. 12 to 31, we were red to close the year, 2015. 2014. We were red to close the year, 2014. I'm gonna look back at all these here now. Hold on one second. <clears throat> See how fast I can do this. Because I had something in my mind, and I and I and this is just confirming what I was seeing in the chart. Okay, so twelve thirty one of twenty thirteen, we had a green day. It was not a large green day. We we traded up about seventy some cents. You can see it here from the open 184.07 high 184.69 low was 183.93. Let's just look back here. So the last time we had a rally, okay, a large green rally into the end of the year because 2013 was, that was only a small bar, wasn't even a dollar. I'm looking at this buy here, 2012. 2012, we have a decent rally there to end the year. We didn't make a new high though, all right? But we had a decent rally and we did make a new high then to begin 2013 in a gap up. So that was, here, let's see if I can find it here without squishing it. Here, so we made a new high in the market then. Nope, it wasn't in that gap up, but it was early then. Early in 2013, we made new highs in the SPY. Wasn't the first day of the year. Wasn't the first day of the year, but we did gap up, ran up the first day of the year, this is 2013, closed strong into the end of 2012, last trading day, and then we did quickly make new highs in the SPY. This is the beginning of January, we did it. And then into February, this is 2013. So this is going all the way back. And then here's today. I know this is really small, but I just wanna look at something here. So anyways, I believe that we're gonna close strong. The Trump signed the tax reform bill last week and I thought the market might rally on that and then we kind of pittered out and it was a holiday week and people were off. And I had, a, I had a feeling we'd really close the year very strong. I didn't know if it would be a big rally getting over the highs into the end of the year, but I do think that's how it's going to play out because we didn't have a rally last week uh, with the tax reform and the market's just been strong all year and we're gapping up today and we're nearing the highs again. And if we rally today and rally tomorrow, we're going to make another new high to close for the end of this year. And I don't see that in any of these charts back for the last several years. So the point I'm trying to make, and, and I thought I was right on that because I have all the charts in my head all the years. I mean, I've been trading now for almost 10 years. Um, it's, it's kind of unusual, okay? So kind of meaning very. Uh, for the market to make a brand new high on the last trading day of the year, if that really does happen, which we won't know until four o'clock tomorrow on the 29th, it would be, it, it would be a sign of strength in the market and it'll be the confirmation that we will continue to be bullish into 2018, which is my prediction for next year. Now, where do we go? 
it's not that we necessarily have to keep going. Obviously, markets wiggle and jiggle and they pull back. We really have not pulled back hardly at all this year. You can see here now, I'm going to blow this up, from the beginning of January. Okay, this is the start of the year in here, this year. Every pullback that was a small, tiny pullback was bought. There were very, very few bearish gaps or gap downs in the market. There were some days when the market gapped down and ran red, but there was absolutely no follow through to those gap downs and the market continued to move up higher. There was follow through in gap ups and the market continued to get bought and there was more bullish gaps that I've seen and I can't even tell you the last time I've seen this many bullish gaps in a chart in, in really anything, any, any other stock chart I've even looked at and I look at them all, okay? So the market kept having buying, which is one of the reasons I continue to call the market higher. And for us to be gapping up, like I said today, this morning, I mean, we could even gap up tomorrow morning. I don't know if we do, but we don't have to do that to hit over the high. But we're so close here now. I think we move over 270. And then where would the target be? It depends where we trade up today. 270 is a real number I think we get over before tomorrow at 4 o'clock. And I called an option call gosh, 1212 uh, it was, for, it, it, was, it was a cheap, cheap option trade. You could have bought it. It expires tomorrow. It's gone down in value, but if we get the pop in the market tomorrow, that trade is going to be a huge trade. And this is, this, is, this is what it is. I mean, you have to really have conviction in what you're doing and believe in your trades if you're going to take them. And, and if you're gonna hold them on through. The market is proving to do exactly what I thought here for December, which is make another new high. We struggled, like I said, a little bit last week, but really people were off, so you can't make much from that. And we had the anticipation of the tax reform that was all through September, because we really had a huge rally, September, November, October, you know, all of this in here. It's just the market rallying, rallying, rallying. December, even, we were making new highs. This day in here, 12.18, we hit up over the high. 268.60 was the last high. So my prediction for 2018 is that we followed through higher. We have to see how we close today and tomorrow to determine what the numbers will be. But the market has had about a 25% rally since Trump getting elected, which was November 2016. So a little bit over a year here with a 25% move up. Are we going to move 25% from here into 2018? I have no idea, but it, we certainly could. But even if we only move half of that, now just listen to me, even if we only have half the move in 2017 that we had in 2000, and, uh, even if we only have half the move in 2018 that we had in 2017, then, I don't want to write something down here. Uh, then that still is going to take us very close to, and I'm talking about just from here today around the 268 air number here, that will take us very close to 300 in the SPY. I mean, that, that number is just not, I mean, that number is going to be hit. Now, whether, whether we hit 300 in the SPY in 2018 or 2019 or if it takes till 2020, I mean, I, that, that number is going, we're going to that number. The market is headed to 300 in the spiders. I mean, it just is. It is. And it's not that we're going to go straight there, and then we don't even need to, to hold this beautiful uptrend. But we have power trended up all year, and that is something that uh, is rare for the market. I mean, I, I just can't tell you how rare it is for a market like this to power trend. Stocks do it all the time. And I'm, I'm talking about power trend up or down. It's rare that the market would power trend in one direction for an entire year. And that is exactly what the market did. It, it, stocks do it. Stocks do it all the time. But it's rare for a market ETF to do that. In fact, there's no year here that I can even point to that we did that. There's no year here going back. And I'm going to go back actually all the way to 1999 here just to show you there is no year that I can say the market power trended in one directional bias the entire year. Now, I mean, 2018, I mean, uh, 2008, I'm sorry. 2008 was bearish for the market and here we dropped off. But this wasn't a power trend down. It was a steep drop off, but it only happened, you see here, in the summer of the year. So you can't say we power trended down even all of 2008. This was after the banking crisis, so, you know. I mean, there's no year in here that the market power trended. 
And there's a difference between holding an uptrend and power trending up. All right. So bottom line is that there were people that thought the market was extended. They were wrong. There were people that at various points shorted the market. Here when we made the top, the double top, the topping tail. Here again, we made the lower high and the lower low. I mean, there were many, many times in here. Here again, you know, you can tell that people went in here short a little bit and they got blown on through here in this bullish gap up. This was 9-11. So expect more of the market to continue higher. How much buying comes in here today and tomorrow in the last final days of the year, I don't know. And I won't till I see it. But I'm telling you, 2018 looks very bullish. I don't know if we power a trend like we did this year, but at this point now, nothing would surprise me. And you're, you're gonna be looking at, at companies, again, which the spiders are made up of uh, certain companies in the index that are gonna have probably some really good performances in 2018 on earnings because of the tax savings for these corporations. So, I mean, there's no reason to expect that the market is gonna change this trend anytime soon. And it will be another good year for people to be looking at the 401ks, which have already really exploded in the last 12 months as well. So we'll see what happens with that option trade and be watching that 270. F final thought here, again, this high over here was 268.60. And we'll see where we close tomorrow. Good luck, everyone, the final trading days of the year. And we'll see where we go. Have a great day, everyone. If you're interested in learning my method on how to read gaps and how to read charts in technical fashion like I do, which is how I made this prediction in the market and how I make the picks every day that I trade, the next class is in January, January 20th and 21st. The price of the class is going up on January 1st to $5,499 from $49.99. And if you're interested and want to sign up, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great, great New Year, everyone.